Thank you for joining Money Simplified, your guide to money and mutual funds, presented by Franklin Templeton Mutual Fund. We appreciate your participation. At Personal FN, we are committed to helping investors achieve their financial goals and objectives. Our core proposition is built around unbiased research and financial planning. We wish to thank Franklin Templeton Mutual Fund for partnering with us in this Invest Education and Awareness Initiative. Welcome to the special series on life goals brought to you by Money Simplified, your guide to money and mutual funds. We are glad to have you with us for the sixth session on retirement planning and that is retirement planning at various life stages. Alright, so now let's get started. Each one of us dream of living a comfortable and peaceful retirement. But realizing a peaceful retirement is a lengthy process. It takes deep planning and years of determination from the start of your career to help you manage your finances and lifestyle during your retirement years. In this session of Money Simplified, we will tell you how you can give a good start to your retirement in order to live a self-sufficient and peaceful retired life. Why Retirement Planning? You would agree that retirement is an important phase in each one's life. Since you cannot avoid it, retirement planning is imperative to remain financially independent, secure and to maintain a healthy and comfortable standard of living during this phase, where you may not have regular flow of income. Timely planning for retirement is very important so that funds are sufficient till your demise. This includes taking care of day-to-day -day expenses as well as medical emergencies that may arise as your age progresses. Here's how you should go about planning your retirement at various stages of your life. 25 to 35 years left to your retirement. You are probably in the age group of 25 to 35 years which means you are in the accumulation phase of your life. You are young and have another 25 to 35 years of working life before you retire. You should look for wealth creation in the long run since you have sufficient time before you hang your boots. Apart from retirement, you may also have other financial goals in the interim such as buying a home, car, getting married and even to save and begin a family and eventually start planning for your child's future needs. Given such a scenario, you would need to prioritize each of your financial goals. You need to form a habit of living within your means and give yourself a cushion so that you don't fall into the trap of excessive credit and unreasonable expenses. You should insure your life adequately through a decent term insurance plan. Buy medical insurance if you are still single or a family floater if you are married and having children. Nevertheless, with sufficient time until your retirement, you can afford to take a high risk with your retirement savings. So there is scope to position your portfolio aggressively by allocating 65-85% to of your portfolio in equities and around 5-20% to in debt. Based on your preference, you may also hold around 10-15% to exposure to gold to further diversify your portfolio. You may save through monthly SIPs in mutual funds to have a disciplined approach to investment. You may open a PPF account or investment in debt mutual funds for fixed income portfolio. Any salary hike or tax refund, dividend and interest income can be ad hoc investments which can be utilized for your intermediate goals. The earlier you start saving and investing, the greater would be the value of your retirement portfolio due to the power of compounding. You may even be able to retire earlier. The next is 15 to 25 years left to your retirement. You are probably in the age group of 35 to 45 years which means you are in the mid-asset accumulation phase of your life. You may be planning to buy a house or may have already bought one or invest for your child's education. If you own a home, make sure you pay off your loan before you near your retirement. You should ensure that the term of your loan does not exceed 20 years at any point of time or else you may find it difficult to pay off your loan before retirement. Also, buy medical insurance, preferably a family floater, to protect the health of your family. Moreover, you should have an adequate life insurance to cover all your liabilities or about 10x of your annual income. This will act as a provision to financially safeguard your family in case of uncertainty. You need to plan your investments well and streamline it towards achieving your financial goals. 
you should also talk to your spouse and make sure your retirement goal is compatible. While you should diversify your investments in maturity dates to optimize returns and account for risk, with a time horizon of 15 to 25 years on your side, you can take a relatively higher risk to grow your retirement portfolio. Hence, your portfolio may be positioned in the moderately aggressive risk profile in the initial years. You can allocate 60 to 70 percent of your portfolio in equity, 20 to 35 percent in debt, and hold around 5 to 15 percent in gold. You may continue with your monthly SIPs in mutual funds. Continue contributing towards PPF and extended for another 5 years if the maturity rate is nearing even if your employer is already deducting your monthly contribution towards EPF. All your contributions towards fixed income generating instruments would turn into a key pension stream during your retirement. Then the next 5 to 15 years left your retirement. You are probably in the age group of 45 to 55 years, which means you are in the protection phase of your life. In this age bracket, you may still have some life goals to fulfill such as child's higher education, marriage or even moving into a bigger house. If you have accumulated enough wealth, you may even plan to retire early or travel to your dream destination, but ensure that your other dreams do not hamper your retirement plans. This is a phase when you need to streamline your finances both inflows as well as outflows. Start maintaining sufficient contingency funds and have adequate medical insurance for yourself and your family. There should not be any slip up on your finances. Moreover, you need to keep aside sufficient funds for your retirement portfolio because there is a possibility that you may fall short on your retirement corpus since you started late. Recalculate a required retirement corpus by using a retirement calculator. If you are falling short, you need to increase your monthly investments as far as possible or else increase the return potential of your portfolio by having greater exposure towards potentially high returns generating instruments. But you also got to ensure that you are balancing your portfolio wisely since you have a time horizon of 5 to 15 years, you may afford to take some amount of risk rather than being too conservative. Hence, your portfolio can be positioned moderately by allocating 40 to 60% of your portfolio towards equity, 35 to 50% towards debt, and about 5 to 10% in gold as a hedge for your portfolio. While you continue investing in equity mutual funds, you should also have a reasonable exposure towards debt mutual funds. Also, do not forget to extend your PPF account for the next five years if it is about to mature. Check with your employer on the pension benefits or post-retirement benefits they provide, such as gratuity, leave and cashment, superannuation, pension, etc. Consider them in your retirement plan. Check if your early retirement would have an effect on your pension plan. Calculate the impact. Moreover, have complete knowledge about your pension-related investments and social security plans so that you can take timely actions when necessary. The next is less than 5 years left to your retirement. You are probably in the age group of 55 to 60 years, which means you are in the verge of retirement. You have accomplished almost all your other financial goals. You have your own mortgage-free house to live in comfortably, your children are well settled and you have perhaps traveled to your dream destinations. You are into your final years before you hang your boots and soon your regular source of income would stop. Hence, you ought to be conservative while investing your hard-earned money. It would not be advisable to have high exposure towards equity as you are nearing retirement. You need to start cutting your equity exposure considerably and start shifting your portfolio towards lower-risk fixed income investments. At this stage, you should position your portfolio as 20 to 30 percent in equity, 60 to 80 percent in debt, and 5 to 10 percent in gold as a hedge. While you may continue investing in equity mutual funds to match the just mentioned allocation, plus you should increase your exposure to a debt mutual funds and other traditional fixed income instruments. Your contingency corpus can be parked in liquid funds so that they may earn better returns than a savings bank account and yet can be withdrawn in case of emergencies. Also, make sure that you have paid off your loans by now. If not, pay off all your loans before retirement. You cannot afford to enter your retirement phase with liabilities to settle. And most importantly, continue paying premium towards your medical insurance. 
it may be difficult to get insurance at this age due to health ailments if any so the best way is to pay your premiums regularly and continue if you do not have medical insurance maintain a separate fund to take care of your medical needs if you are already retired probably you have completed 60 years and the conservation and protection phase of your life which means you have entered the distribution phase of your life by now you have limited income or no regular income and hence you need to dip into your savings and reserves that you have built over the years your savings and reserves would include the wealth accumulated in your ppf account epf account superannuation account fixed deposit small savings schemes mutual funds gold etfs etc at this stage your portfolio needs to be positioned conservatively so that your investments can take care of your retirement needs around 70 to 80% of your portfolio should be inclined towards fixed income generating instruments and aim for reasonably good inflation adjusted post tax returns some proportions say about 10 to 25% of your portfolio may still be in equities with a long term investment horizon of 5 years and about 5 to 10% in gold as a hedge in your portfolio your goal should be to create stream of cash flows to take care of your basic expenses for this you need to calculate the money you need each month and which portion of your investment portfolio they can come from for example the interest and dividend income you receive on your investments can help you settle your utility bills and some day to day expenses moreover you should calculate and fix the monthly withdrawal amount which can be withdrawn initially from your low risk investments while letting your other investments grow and earn in the later years systematic withdrawal plans swp offered by mutual funds are also a good option to create a cash inflow stream post retirement the money you receive from gratuity and leave encashment from your employer on retirement can be invested in short term debt mutual funds to enable you to receive a regular income stream you can start withdrawing from these instruments after 3 years or as and when you need money however ensure that the instruments where you invest this money offer sufficient liquidity again do not stop paying premiums towards your medical insurance as you need it the most during your retirement some insurance companies provide health cover until the age of 70 or else maintain a separate contingency fund to take care of your medical needs your contingency money maintained in liquid funds can take care of any other emergencies you see retirement planning is an ongoing and lifelong process it takes decades of commitment in order to enjoy the rewards during your golden years the earlier you start the better it is so as you aim to build a decent corpus for your retirement you can follow these guidelines and march forward in the journey to achieve a peaceful retirement so to end our learning exercise today We now invite you to test your learning by taking up the simple quiz and win exciting prizes. Thank you for participating. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme related documents carefully.